I am very excited to be here this morning. This is your Sunday self-care update. Something that we can do to help you feel better, to make your life better, to improve your health, all kinds of things. Those are our topics. But today I thought we would talk about remineralizing your teeth. Now, we have been told that you cannot remineralize your teeth, that they just deteriorate over time, and if you have a cavity or pitting in the surface of your teeth, that there is nothing you can do about it. I'm here to tell you that that is not exactly true, okay? It does not happen by itself, but you can create the right conditions in your body for that to happen. And I'm gonna show you a recipe today, that's why we're in my kitchen, um, I'm going to show you a recipe today on how to remineralize your teeth. All right, so what I do for this is you take Epsom salts, so minerals, think minerals, right? We're going to make a solution of minerals because your body needs more minerals than your digestive tract can absorb. So we need to get them into your body another way. If you consume too many minerals straight through the digestive tract, you'll slow it down too much um, and you'll end up slightly constipated. So that's not really the goal, okay? The goal is to get your body the nutrition in the most balanced way. And if we need to do it um, through absorption, either absorption of the skin or absorption through the mouth, that's what we're going to do. So we take Epsom salts, a little bit of water, so equal parts, Epsom salts, water. You're gonna to wanna to write this down because um, it's a good recipe. <laughs> so equal parts, Epsom salts, and water. I usually use like a quarter of a cup each because I don't want, right, three pounds or three, I don't want a giant recipe, I just want something small. So quarter cup of Epsom salts, a quarter cup of water, and then you're gonna take this kind of thing right this is minerals this particular one is their ionic minerals liquid minerals and this one is calcium magnesium and zinc okay all of these minerals are used to build your teeth better stronger healthier so a little bit of liquid this um, I would say maybe a tablespoon okay then we've got the big minerals we also need the trace minerals so this is a trace mineral supplement um, you're going to put maybe a teaspoon of this in there. Remember, trace minerals, we don't need a ton of them, just little bits. I also like to put in some selenium, same brand. I like to put in some liquid selenium because selenium um, is just useful for all kinds of things, including thyroid health, including immune health. We need some selenium. Okay, so you're going to mix all this stuff up into a kind of a liquid slurry. And to get your Epsom salts to dissolve in the water, you may need to heat them a little bit. And that's okay, a little bit of heat is not going to destroy the minerals at all. And once you've got this all mixed up, you're going to put it into some kind of container, right? I, this is just an old mouthwash container that I had left over from something else. So I put it into my little mouthwash container and I keep it in my bathroom. Now. The reason your teeth demineralize in the first place is because your saliva and tissue pH is too acidic, okay? Your body will pull minerals from teeth and from bones to balance the pH in your saliva and in your, um, in your mouth, in your body. So we want to balance it naturally. And if you wanna test this out, you can go to the store and buy um, little test strips to test your pH. Test your urine and your saliva pH. They should be 6.4. They should be 6.4 all the time, every day, no matter what. Okay, so that's a way for you to test. And if you test in the morning, you'll notice that it's different than in the afternoon and it's different than it is at nighttime. Okay, and it's really that nighttime and through the night pH that starts to demineralize the teeth. So if you test your pH at night and you find that it is too acidic, this is what we're going to do. Your little slurry that you made and put in your mouthwash bottle, you're gonna take um, about a tablespoon of it before bed, and you're going to put it in your mouth, and you're gonna swish it around your mouth, and you're gonna hold it there for maybe, maybe a minute, two minutes, okay? I want this to start absorbing through the tissues of your mouth, and I want it to start balancing the pH, because these are all the minerals that are gonna help balance your pH. Okay, 
and it's through the night that your body will repair. It doesn't repair during the day, it repairs at night. So use your little slurry before bed, do it again in the morning after you brush your teeth and after you are done with your morning coffee. Remember that morning coffee, I don't have a problem with coffee, but it is very acidic, okay? And I don't want the, urine, the saliva pH to be too acidic for too long. So here we go, twice a day, about a tablespoon, swoosh it around your mouth. I just want you to let it absorb through the mouth tissues. We use um, a lot of remedies absorb through the mouth tissues, a lot of homeopathics, a lot of herbal tinctures, they all absorb through the mouth. So this is a common way to get nutrients and, and things into your body. All right, so that's how we're gonna balance the minerals coming in. You also really, really need um, amino acids. Now, amino acids come from protein. I like bone broth or a collagen supplement if it contains the right stuff. There, I'll do a video on collagen because there's a lot of things that need to go with collagen in order for your body to use it. I like bone broth, basic, basic bone broth. Don't buy it from the store, you have to make it yourself. That is the best way to do it and get all of the nutrients out of it. But bone broth gives you the amino acids that your body needs to build the structure around the teeth. So it's the two things together. You have to have the amino acids and you have to have the minerals. And that combined builds the structure of your teeth. You'll also get better nails and hair and skin and bones, which is a bonus even though we were focused specifically on the teeth. Um, good morning. If you guys have any questions, please make sure to ask. I'm happy to answer. Um, if I can't get to it right during this video, I will go back and review it and answer any questions that you have about teeth. But it is the two things in combination. It's the extra minerals that we try to absorb through the tissues and the amino acids that come from protein. You do not get them from plant-based protein very well. I'm sorry to tell you, um, I love plant-based food. I think in general, it's a great way to go. Um, but most humans need some kind of meat at least a couple times a week. Doesn't have to be every day. Bone broth would suffice, that would do it. So get your bone broth, get your mineral slurry, and get that into your mouth so you can start having the building blocks to get those teeth moving in the right direction. Um, other interesting things about that would be ah, tooth and gum tonic. So here's a little bit of gum health. So that's about the teeth. Okay, that can balance teeth um, mineralization. It can also get rid of cavities or start healing cavities. You do have to be very consistent. It is not a fast process. It does take time. Our bones take a long time to demineralize demineralize they also take a long time to mineralize so be patient I have actually gone to the dentist um, in the past and they tell me oh you've got some pitting in your teeth we're gonna fill it just as a precaution and my response to them is always okay I'll make the appointment for you know in the next few months well I don't and I come home and I do my program I remineralize my teeth for six months and when I go back at my regular visit They've forgotten all about it, even though they had notes. And they're shocked. So this really does work. I have tested it out personally. Um, for gum health, I like oil pulling. Okay, you can look it up online. It's pretty common. It's pretty similar. Most methods are pretty similar. Oil pulling. I like to use una de gato, which is an herb, a liquid herb in my oil pulling, because it uh, kills all the bacteria in the mouth that causes gingivitis and it kills all the, the uh, bacteria in the teeth, on the teeth, that causes cavities. So now you've got a really powerful combination. I like to oil pull at night. Do that before you swish with your minerals, okay? And it will detoxify your mouth. Just a fun way to do it. Um, if you have questions about oral health, please make sure to ask. Again, I'm happy to answer. This is a fun topic. Most people don't come to me for oral health, but they always ask the question, so it's very common. Um, I will post tomorrow probably a link to my favorite teeth care products. I will post um, a little link for the toothpaste that I use, which is a mineral-based toothpaste, non-fluoride, 
don't use fluoride, please. I can go into that for days and days and days. Do not use fluoride. It is not good for your teeth. It is not good for your body. It blocks your pineal gland, okay? That's dangerous. Do not use fluoride. It's also in your tap water. Um, so I will post that. You can look for a mineral toothpaste. I'll share with you the one that I use. I'll share with you the tools that I use for oil pulling, the liquid una de gato and the, um, the coconut oil. I use a fractionated coconut oil because I don't like the chunkiness of the thick oil. Either one works. And I will post in there links to all of this stuff so you know exactly which brands I'm using and where it's coming from. So look for all that information tomorrow. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday and take care, do something to take care of yourself today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.